Okay guys, as promised, tonight we're going to be looking at the, the Think Bay Judge and all his features. And why I think this is the best bug out survival, shit it's the fan slingshot on the planet, second to none. I know there's a lot of the over the top shooters out there, but I think for survival, for me this is the, the ultimate piece of kit. I'll run through his features now. Um, Alright, first up, looking at the grip, we've got a standard 20mm Picatinny mount in the bottom. The The body frame is solid um, cast aluminium, uh, no plastic or anything uh, anyway on uh, the slingshot which is plastic, it is solid. Um, rubber tubing on the wrist brace here to um, protect uh, your hand so you don't get any cold on in the winter. The laser mount on the front is three way uh, adjustable um, for your sighting system. You have separate sighting on the forks, one on the left, one on the right. So when you pull back your power band, the forks pull down into position, bringing up your sight picture for you to shoot through the forks. The forks themselves are um, uh, cast aluminium um, or steel, I don't know, but they are heavy. Locked in place by these six bolts, um, because there's a lot of torque on, on the, the forks. The, the cantilever effect of the springs is a force multiplier. Now, I ca now pulling back on full draw, um, I'm estimating it's around about um, a 45 to 50 pound bow. Just off camera to my left is my blackened uh, recurve, which is 40 pounds. And this is harder to pull back than the bowstring on my uh, my recurve black hunter although my triangle compound bow which is a 50 pound draw um doesn't feel quite as hard as that so i'm guessing this is around about a 45 pound draw with a dan kung 30 60 power bands and the cantilever effect the wrist brace is made from real leather um not artificial um good quality um the nuts screw off so if you want to change out to uh, a cotton or another material if you um, is perf perfectly doable. To adjust your sights, you can just slacken off the front screw here and you can raise or lower the front sight. The same for left and right adjustment, you just sl sl slacken off the pivot and fractionally adjust it. If you want to upgrade your laser yourself and take away the laser spotlight, you can do. If you want to fit a laser with vertical and horizontal adjustment, that's perfectly fine, it is doable. The laser sight itself contains a spotlight and a laser. Um, so if you're in the night um, and the batteries go in your main torch or head torch, you do have a backup on a slingshot um, for around about half an hour's use using four AAA watch batteries as a spotlight. But as a laser, um, you've got a few hours use on a laser, but you wouldn't have it on all the time for continuous use you you will be switching on and off as you hunt out your targets the grip is very ergon ergonomic designed for a big hand a nice meaty hand this is a very nice um proportionate slingshot handle um which is unusual for chinese slingshots they generally got small handles but this has got a very meaty western style handle for european shooters now what we're going to do is now, rather than um, switch in, switch out with different um, slingshots, I'm going to bring in now one which has already been set up for arrow configuration. So this is in ball bearing configuration at the moment, using Dan Kung 3060, around about a, a 45 pound draw. So we're just going to take this off the camera now, and bring in one set up for slingshot hunting use. Right, as you can see now, she won't fit on the table, she's too big. On your standard 20mm Picatinny rail on the bottom, you've got your fishing reel kit. This is my choice for the fishing reel kit, um, because the standard kit, I didn't think it was good enough. Um, can you remember, if you like my channel and you watch me, you know I like quality, not quantity. Clutch release on the fishing reel, so if there's too much tension on the reel, you can release and bring it back in. Adjustable tension on your fishing reel if you want the, the, the wing, the wing, 
your fishing line weighted heavier, you can do by turning up the torque on the fishing reel. Drawing as normal, pull out, release your clutch, and you can pull out. The torch itself is quick release, uh, fishing is quick release. So just quick release the, the clamp and it comes off. You can then refit uh, a fitch uh, a fitching, a normal torch. So to keep your hands free and ready, you can have your normal. You can fit your own choice of torch, or buy one with one supplied. Again, strobe light, spot, variable beam. It's a great quality torch. Um, it's not cheap or solid uh, aluminium construction. Again, remember I don't do plastic. I don't like it. Um, so if once that's out of the way, then we're now going to look at your choice of fishing power bands. If you're going to use fishing arrows with your slingshot, you got two two main types you can use. There's a third type as well, which I don't like. The third type is your normal slingshot pouch with a string in the middle of it and you hold the arrow to release. I don't like that because I don't think you get a consistent release. Um, second choice is using a ball bearing release like this so your arrow sits in the knock and uh, you release that way. My preferred release is using a trigger. So once your arrow is in the arrow rest, it will be sitting on the other way, we are upside down, in the arrow rest. You attach your trigger, thus. So your arrow is sat in there. So it's shot like a conventional bow, and once you're uh, on your target and you're happy, you just release. I don't supply the triggers. Triggers are your own choice. Um, but I will supply, depending on the spec you want, if you want it uh, with an app, with a trigger release, if you want a ball or ball bay release. They all come with Dan Kung 3060 power bands because I think the original stock ones, which are about uh, oh, 2070, I think, I think they're underpowered. They're way underpowered for what the slingshot is capable of. Uh, twin magnets for storing your ammunition and a riveted band. Again, this is on the new version, this is on the, the G5, with the elongated holes in the grip. Um, so this is the type which, it, which I'm selling is the G5s. The, the G3, my version, um, I'll never sell. It's a, I think it's a, it's a better slingshot. They are available if you hunt for them, but I haven't seen them for a couple of years. I supply them in three specs, in basic slingshot spec, so that's um, without the, the arrow rest, without the extra bands, without the torches, any of the accessories, you can supply your own, and that way you can customise the way you like. Um, in maximum slingshot configuration, that's with the laser sights, um, and with the spotter torch underneath. And then again, then top the range version is with the, the fishing reel kit, and the fishing power bands, with a choice whether you want trigger release, or ball bearing release. I have three types or three colors here. This one here, which I'll probably sell as the uh, full fishing kit. Um, a black one, um, uh, an all matte black, and a fiery red. The fiery red one has got a few nicks on the handle bear, which you'll see in one of my previous videos, which I'm gonna let go cheaper. So I might just sell the, the they're all brand new, all unused, but one got slightly damaged in the post. So the red one, the fire red, fiery flames red one i'll probably let that go for the basic configuration and I'll, I'll probably put that on my um coffee for about 40 pounds so that's um coffee.com forward slash celtic crossbows or the link is above in the listing these are absolutely fantastic slingshots um again we are look, look at adjustment these only finger tight just for the purpose of the video but you can see here, you can adjust the, the height and profile of the arrow rest for your zero and left and right as well. So you can adjust the arrow rest multi configuration to suit yourself. If you wish, you can do away with the arrow rest and fit a whisker biscuit. Whisker biscuits are the exact size 
for the so for, for night shoot and i would actually recommend a whisker biscuit would be better for the fishing reel um, i'm supplying it with a, a a quick release picker tinny um because i believe that's the way to go it says five and night you just release your cam and off you go again it's not been tightened correctly on adjustment because it's brand new and anything like that is down to you um and just go looking at the accessories now what comes with this this particular slingshot they all come with um four four springs in case ones break rrs for your laser a selection of allen keys two fish in oh my head's gone to arrow rests spare pins for the cocking arms and spare c clips to locate the springs and the pins i say they all come with the rs etc the fishing gear ones come with the rs etc so it depends on your on your spec the exact specifications will be in my listings on my coffee page but in my opinion these really are the ultimate bug out slingshot they, you can hear it these are heavy they are strong um you could use the handle as a bludgeon weapon in the event you run out of ammunition um use your imagination but these are a great all-round piece of survival kit um and i wouldn't sell this for the world thank you guys thanks for watching